You know, I remember thinking back to myself in 2012 when I was playing Portal and I was thinking, man, you know what? These mechanics would turn out to be a really fun first person shooter game. And well, that thought has become a reality with the game called Splitgate. Splitgate is a free to play first person shooter game where if you basically think about it, think of Halo and Portal had a baby thrown together, what would come out? What would be this game? It's similar to Halo because it's an arena shooter just like Halo and has even starts and power ups you pick up throughout the map to improve your chances of winning, much like in Halo. It also has the Portal aspect from, well, the game of Portal to be able to traverse the map in a very unique way. But you can't just throw your portals all over the map wherever you want to go. They're very designated locations where you want to do that. 1047 Games, the creators of Splitgate, reached out to me to ask me if I wanted to come by and check out the game. And well, I did. And in this video, I wanted to provide my thoughts and opinions. So I recently played Splitgate for the very first time. I know, late to the party. And I wanted to provide my thoughts on this game as a lifelong Halo fan, as well as a FPS fan in general. And I wanted to answer the question, can Splitgate stand amongst the giants of the FPS? FPS genre. Well, if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So why all of a sudden am I playing Splitgate now? Well, Season 2 just released uh, this game, and some really interesting changes that they made with it. One is the map Abyss, which is kind of like a remastered version of the map, kind of set in this ruins, ancient world kind of thing, trying to rebuild from the ground up with their new art style and stuff like that. And actually, that's one thing that kind of threw me off from Splitgate at first, was just the art style just wasn't really there for me, but this new direction that they're going does look much better. Also, the matchmaking system has greatly improved. Last summer, it was kind of messed up because of the huge influx of players that they had. It just had to be completely revamped. Now with this new fast and intelligent matchmaking system, players will face fewer bots and will actually play against players much more similar to their skill level so they won't have such wide variants of skill level so you won't get smashed when you first start playing the game. Also comes with some new game modes like Juggernaut that you know well Juggernaut from Halo which is Juggernaut and Splitgate. Hot Zone which is basically the new version of King of the Hill within Splitgate and a new mode Lockdown which is score a point by controlling all three hills at the same time. After each point the hills move similar in the way of like total control from Big Team Battle. And I played these modes and a bunch of the other popular modes out there like T bag confirm yes there's a tea bag confirm where it's like basically kill confirmed from like call of duty but the way you confirm the kill is by tea bag and the guy you just killed which is hilariously awesome uh get back here <laughs> someone no. my teammates tea bag my body oh my god it like drops an actual <laughs> tea bag when you die <laughs> oh here we go oh, there we go, there here. go here. heed Primary. there we go <laughs> confirmed Oh, we're gonna confirm no. another one. We're gonna confirm another one. <laughs> of course, you have fan favorites like TDM. You also have SWAT variation coming in, which actually spawns you with battle rifles. Crazy, I know the thing about SWAT with a battle rifle start. And a whole lot of other modes that I like, just can't get into because this, this video would be like an eight hour long video, but there's a custom game browser where you can jump in and just play whatever the heck you want. It's super cool. They also have a brand new progression system in the game where players attain levels faster on the way to hitting level 100. So progression isn't such a grind anymore like it was previously. Obviously, and once you pass the level 100, you go to the pro tier, which is kind of like prestiging almost in a way where you go through another 100 levels with even greater rewards tied to that. And there's up to 10 pro levels to complete the variety of challenges to unlock new badges and new things for your player card. So a lot of things that continually keep playing. Crazy to think like an XP based progression system would be a great thing to have in a video game, right? And as it is a new season comes with a new battle pass with 100 tiers of unlocks with 100 plus items to unlock within that, like two legendary characters, six legendary weapons, 10 drops, 1200 split coin, which is like their current in-game currency. But the cool thing about this is that the battle pass costs 900 split coin, where the amount you can earn is 1200. So by completing the battle pass, you're actually getting free money that the battle pass costs less than the money you can earn within the pass itself. So it's just like, logically great way to keep people playing the game right so it's like okay let's jump in and finally play this game so it seemed like they've put some time in to progress on systems that were needed improvement on and also gameplay elements and so what was my experience when first playing split gate well overall it was a lot of fun <laughs> so anyway i gotta go now <laughs> Oh, rage quitter. Oh, Luke. Luke! I see how it is. Get juked! <laughs> that's going in the oh, video right there. That's a that's a that's a oh, perfect shit. perfect use of portals oh. right there. My biggest concern with Splitgate was that the whole portaling system would just create this chaotic gameplay where basically you're constantly getting flaking to keep your head on a swivel. 
it's not really like that. You can actually kind of play these maps and do well without really bothering with the portals a whole lot. The way that maps are designed in this game is that the portals are meant more to accent the gameplay rather than be a source for good gameplay. Of course, I've seen crazy plays happen with portals, so they're super advantageous to take advantage of when you're playing, but you don't absolutely need to to be able to play well. The way the lines of sight and the geometry works on the map is that you can't necessarily just like teleport across the map instantly. I mean, there are some cases of that, but they're very obvious locations. So when I was playing, I, I didn't feel like I had to constantly keep my head on a swivel, feel like I was getting flanked constantly i think there still was a general flow of gameplay which is what i'm accustomed to when it comes to playing your standard fps games cool thing is also that blaze who's one of the map designers in this game was actually a former 343 employee who helped create a lot of the mythic arena maps as well as the btb refresh so they have strong roots in halo literally people who've worked on halo are working on this game as well you can definitely tell that the roots of halo are deep within split gate hey, portal oh! You see, that was fancy moves! Oh! 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 Kevin! Oh! Kevin. Shit. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> double kill let's go and also there was like a nice variety of layouts right where it just felt like it was every time you jumped onto a new map it was a new experience in a way for just not only just visuals but also just the style of the map themselves like there are some maps that have their standard three lane kind of format which is you know kind of have a little more familiarity when it comes to the maps but there are some maps out there that you know definitely lend themselves to more split gate style gameplay which is really cool but still really well done now the sandbox which is all the stuff that's within the game Game that you can play around with is very similar to Halo where Splitgate is like I said an arena shooter meaning that you have even starts gameplay and knowledge is what helps you succeed in this game not some overpowered meta loadout that makes you better than everybody else kind of thing like we see in other shooters out there uh, the weapons though are super fun and also very intuitive to use I mean they're very similar to Halo as well like you got a bat you literally have a battle rifle within the game you got a rocket you have a rail gun you have a shotgun you have like a single fire DMR assault rifle SMG so weapons you've definitely played around with before so there really isn't anything too crazy when it comes to learning the, how the weapons shoot and stuff like that which has made me who is a newcomer very happy that this game is very accessible the one thing that really threw me off at first is that grenades don't do damage they're only meant to close portals this got me killed for sure i forget what i put my spray paint back on oh what bro oh shit it's cow oh. oh what how did you live through that I got nailed you with a grenade and just like laid my assault rifle on you and just no, I don't no. think the grenades do damage. They don't? No, no, the grenades don't do no, Oh not. shit! <laughs> Did you even play the tutorial, <laughs> Kevin? Uh, even I knew that and I just played the tutorial. <laughs> I thought it was just like you can use grenades to also block no. portals. Kevin, yeah, just let me, just let me remote into your computer to leave the game for me. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah! Oh, what now? Though honestly, I never really felt like I was missing throwing grenades or dealing damage with grenades as that the portals help you move around a whole lot. And also just focusing more on gunplay is what I always like in my shooters where I feel like everything else needs to be kind of complementary to the gunplay. Where like in Halo, it's kind of like an even balance between grenades, melee, and weapons. Where in Split Game, it's much more about the weapons. You don't deal any damage with grenades. And also the melee is not as strong as it is in Halo, but definitely very useful. Now when playing this game for the first time, I noticed that the kill times were roughly about the same as Halo, probably a little bit shorter, making like the fully auto weapons a little bit more viable within the sandbox, as you probably have seen from your experience of playing Halo for most likely if you're watching this channel, that uh, precision weapons kind of are the dominant weapon within the game. I mean, even with the starting weapon, I always switch to the pistol compared to the assault rifle. But in this game, the assault rifle has about a similar kind of kill time as say like the MA40 from Halo Infinite for that assault rifle, but the SMG shreds at close range. So making these fully auto weapons much more viable options within the sandbox, but you definitely want to utilize like the battle rifle, which is like a legit power weapon within this game. The DMR does great over range. The sniper rifle is awesome. Railgun, super fun. Shotgun, really badass at close range. Like really great stuff i think the ttk felt very accessible yet also rewarding people for their accuracy and consistency much like halo so if you're bored with halo infinite but want to play a game that's like halo essentially split gate might be just your game i mean we have to, until november until we actually get a brand new season so there's gonna be some downtime with halo infinite guys and split gate also has this really cool system of a referral code where basically if you refer somebody using your code within the game and if that person gains up to level 10 in xp well you gain 50 split coin for free so i have 
up my referral code in the pinned comment down below, guys. If you give Splitgate a download, use my referral code. The first 20 people have a chance to earn the 50 free Split Coins for you and for myself. So definitely enjoyable to try it out. But if you're new to the channel, missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. Got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.